and welcome to Spa Biz TV. I'm Dori Sukup here to share with you some tips on how to implement in spa marketing strategies. Lately, while doing some Coach Me private sessions, I have been hearing spa owners tell me, my hair department is busy, but my massage department is slow. Or my facial business is good, but my nail department is so and so or my many spa services are slow, or weight management, and so on. What can you do to ensure that every department is busy? You can implement some in-spa marketing strategies to help you increase capacity and revenue. You see, in-spa marketing is the most economical and easiest type of marketing you can launch and implement. Yet, I'm amazed how many spas totally miss out on this opportunity. On this episode, you will discover three simple yet very effective in-spa marketing strategies to help you get busier and make more money. First, I want to advise you to create a PowerPoint presentation that will have several slides to promote all the treatments and products you offer. You can include treatment descriptions, some fun trivia, fun facts, feature different team members, highlight specialties, have some success stories, some before and after pictures, your memberships, all those things. Once created, publish as a video and then put it on a TV or an electronic frame then place it in your lobby and relaxation lounge for people to see. This should be a silent presentation. Having this presentation loop will plant seeds in the client's mind and inform them of the wide range of treatments and experiences you offer. Simple? Yes. Number two, use spa dollars to cross between different departments between different team members. This is so simple and easy to do. All you need is to create your spa dollars and teach the team how to cross market. To implement this, you will need a script for the team so they are confident with this approach. If they are comfortable, they will do it. If not, they're not going to. So I would host a team meeting and have the team highlight their skills, passions, let them get to know each other, perform some treatments on one another so they can start recommending each other. If you role play this, this entire process with them, you will notice a big increase in cross marketing and sales. Number three, you will need to encourage your reception department to recommend different options. They need to describe the options in an exciting way so they can entice the guests to reserve multiple treatments. This can be done at the time of the reservation, at check-in, or also check-out. Whether you are a spa leader, a team member, or a receptionist, Promoting each other is one of the best things you can do to grow your business. In spa marketing is a win-win for everyone involved. Your guests get to have more treatments, the team is busier, and the spa is more successful. So I encourage you to implement these strategies as soon as possible. So if you need help with team training, scripts, implementation guidelines, you need to check out the Spa Management Essentials series. It's a Coach Me Gold series where I actually train your team for you. I give you monthly one-hour teleseminars. You get a transcript, you get CDs, and you get the tools to train your team so you can elevate your success. This is the best thing you can do to build your business. It's a fact. The more you learn, the more you earn. So focus on marketing and training your team and your business will definitely grow. Until next time, stay inspired.